Hi, my name is Jesse Gitaka from Mount Kenya University. Growing up in Western Kenya, Maria was the commonest illness that I suffered. And in fact, Maria almost killed me. After seeing this image of the potential for genetics to revolutionize medicine, I was fascinated and decided to pursue medicine to at least have a serious talk with malaria. Today, I lead a lab where we are working on the A to Z of malaria. Current tools to tackle malaria, such as bed net use and treating cases, have done a great deal, but it is clear that more is needed. One of the toughest challenges to stopping transmission is finding parasites that are hiding. Remember, they have evolved to exist without killing many of their human hosts or even making them sick, but will be dangerous to people with weaker immune systems, such as pregnant women and children. When mosquitoes bite these infected but not sickly people, they can transmit to other people. But how do you find out these asymptomatic infections? As we have learned from the current coronavirus pandemic, prompt detection is critical to timely treatment and control. And with malaria, self or imposed quarantine cannot work since mosquitoes will find you even in your house. In my lab, at Mount Kenya University, we are developing highly sensitive point-of-care diagnostics that use genetics of the malaria parasites. Remember my fascination with the Human Genome Project? It happens that we got stuck with malaria genome in the mix. Yes, malaria parasite genomes have repeating DNA segments that we can leverage for greater sensitivity and we can do the detection on paper. We are also using the fourth industrial evolution genetic engineering tools such as CRISPR, to design these diagnostics. Current tools are not sensitive enough. They are missing far too many infected yet transmitting people. We are working with teams in Africa and other continents to be able to detect the smallest amounts of infections well in time to intervene. This way, we will detect malaria in pregnancy and avoid or prevent the low birth weight babies stillbirths, anemia, and even deaths of mothers neg that negatively impact our societies. We shall be able to cut the transmission cycle that persists throughout the year in endemic countries, enabling socioeconomic development and saving lives. Now, I have told you the A and B of what we do. The rest of the alphabet includes finding out drug-resistant markers in different parts of Kenya, and the region, finding which parasites pose the greatest threats, finding out vaccine targets for malaria in pregnancy, and finding the best strategies for eliminating malaria. My lab is aimed at tackling a challenge that has dogged Africans for thousands of years, that is currently reducing the economic growth of African countries and impeding the huge potential of its people, that is costing lives and quality of lives. Please, Join us in tackling this menace. Thank you.